And still on this matter, the World Health Organization on Thursday downplayed the danger of the coronavirus latching onto food packaging and urged people not to be afraid of the virus entering the food chain. Two cities in China said they had found traces of the coronavirus in imported frozen food and on food packaging, raising fears that contaminated food shipment might cause new outbreaks. WHO head of emergencies program Mike Ryan told a briefing in Geneva that there is no evidence that food or the food chain is participating in transmitting the virus and that people should feel comfortable and safe. <clears throat> there is no evidence that food or the food chain <clears throat> is participating in transmission of this virus and people should uh, feel comfortable uh, and feel safe in the out. There are many other reasons why we need to protect and we need to cook our food properly and there are many other contaminants of food that occurs uh, but I think we should not be placing COVID as, as a risk in this, in, in this area. Funding the ACT Accelerator will cost a tiny fraction in comparison to the alternative where economies retract further and require continued fiscal stimulus packages. Before spending another 10 trillion US dollars on the consequences of the next wave, we estimate that the world will need to spend at least 100 billion US dollars on new tools, especially any new vaccines that are developed. The first and most immediate need is 31.3 billion US dollars for the ACT Accelerator. We don't have sufficient information at this point to uh, make a judgment on that, and we're currently in conversation with Russia to uh, get additional information, understand the status of that product, the trials that have been undertaken, um, and then what the next steps might be.